this is probably one of the most important um, videos that I've put out. If you live in what's known as a Community Reinvestment Act location, the initials of CRA, you need to step back and you need to listen to this because it's going to be some critical changes that are being put in place that could actually be detrimental to get community input. What is the Community Reinvestment Act? Well, the act was in, was brought into play in uh, 1977. It requires the Federal Reserve and other federal banking regulators to engage financial institutions to help meet the credit need of the community in which they do business, including low income and moderate income neighborhoods. This is the tool that if used correctly could reduce justification on purpose, intentionally, and by design. Under the CRA, which is the city of Tampa, is what's known as the CAC. The CAC is what's known as a advisory committee that reports back to the CRA. Under the CRA is what's known as committees. These committees play a value role in terms of providing information to the larger CAC. You might have an economic development committee. You might have a housing committee, et cetera. These committees are the committees that actually do the work to report back to the CAC, that report back to the CRA. Under that committee is what we call the community. The decision to remove staff from the CAC committee, as well as dissolve the CAC committee, it's going to have a negative impact on community engagement. If you take it from what used to be a total of five, at least five meetings related to the CRA, that is subcommittees and the CAC committee, and reduce it down to one meeting a month, that doesn't make sense. I'm imploring you, if you're in a CRA hearing, to express your concerns to the city council and the to the CAC uh, committee. The verification could be detrimental to reducing gentrification in our community. I want to emphasize this again so you understand. It's the subcommittees that provide the necessary information to the CAC that provides the information to the CRA. If you knock out committees, you knock out the communities. I can't overemphasize how important this is. This is going to have negative ramifications. It's critical when you're working in poor, distressed communities that you provide this type of assistance to the committees, to the community people that's working to save their community. Even if it means that you have to take an, an extra step if you're not getting people to come to the subcommittees, take an extra step to reach out even more in order to do that outreach to bring more people in. I cannot overemphasize. And if you hear my voice, I do this work 
all the time when it comes to community and economic development in some of the most stressed neighborhoods in the nation. This decision is going to have ramification to how your community look in the next five years. In West Tampa, we know that within the next five years, 10% or by 2027, 10% of the black community would have been displaced. I want you to keep that in mind by 2027. This data is coming from the Census Bureau as well as um, demo, um, demo, 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 let me try to get the word out from my, my mom. Um, hold on one second while I try to. Okay, now I got it. Demographics Now, that's the name of the site where the information uh, I'm, I'm providing you now. And you can go online and, uh, you know, check that information. But it's also backed up with information from uh, the United States Census on projecting trends. Without the committees to be part of the CAC, by 2027, 10% of the African American community will be displaced. And that's just in West Ham. Every community can run their own numbers. Think of that 10%. I'm pleading with the city council, I'm pleading with the community that we come out and change this decision to end the subcommittees and staff the sub subcommittee. My background is some work in some of the most distressed neighborhoods in the country. That's why you have to come with a particular skill set to be able to reach down and make sure you get the participation that's necessary. There's so many things you can do to increase the input of people that are coming to these uh, subcommittees. That sets, as a community organizer, I know this to be the case. Look, folks, they're going to make many reasons for wanting to change this, but I want you to understand you heard it from us. 2027, 10% of the African American population could be wiped out. Again, these are projected numbers. That means that how we plan and what we do now will determine whether or not that comes to pass. And one of the ways we can make sure that doesn't come to pass is to be able to man these subcommittees that make their presentation to the CAC, to the CRA. Imagine this. CAC to the uh, CAC, the CAC to the CR, CRA committee. You totally knocked out the community when you knocked out the committee. So please, I probably went on and on. I didn't mean to go this long, but that's how important it is. If you're in the CRA area, the subcommittees that make up the meat of the CAC is going to be removed. We need to change this. Please contact your city council members. <coughs> um, contact whoever you need. Show up at those city council meetings. Give your, uh, your voice. This, and by all means, share this. The implications of not paying attention could be detrimental to poor communities that's in the CRA. Okay, get a quick comment because this is public and this goes to the need for more residents to become part of the different types of committees related to the CAC. Our most recent data 
shows that by 2027, the African American community in West Tampa will be reduced by 14%. If you're not part of this, folks, you'll be part of that 14% that's going to be exercised out of the community. Because it's not going to happen in 2027, we have more than enough time to stop it. These are only projected numbers. So let me give you some quick highlights related to crime in, 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 in the black community in general. Black Americans die from gun violence twice, 2.4 times that of white. That on average, more than 12,000 black people die from gun violence each year. 15,000 died in 2021. Young black men are the leading cause of death. In fact, between the ages of 14 to 24 is the greatest number of homicide. Adding on to that, the cause of death in terms of children, black kids from gun violence. That number is also true when we look at black females. The, the level of violence that's going on in the African American community is outrageous. And the only way we can stop it is through committees like this. Joe, I want to thank you for calling this committee right here. But more importantly, if you listen to me, if you live in West Tampa, we got a date now, 2027. 14% of African Americans will be out of this community. So now it's up to you. Thank you, Joe. Now, this is Joe making the presentation and giving us the information about the discontinuation of the subcommittees related to the CAC. Okay. What I got notice of on Friday, uh, all CAC chairmen, CAC members, and staff received a distribution from Mrs. Nicole Travis, the Administrator for Development and Economic Opportunity and Development and Economic Opportunity on May 11th, uh, May 12th, 8.32 a.m. And when I got that, I read it, and I'm gonna read it here for the record since I'm the chair and I can do that. Uh, it says, to all CAC chairmen, CAC members, because it's being recorded, and I want it recorded for the record, because it's going to change the way we go forward in the future. Uh, and this is from uh, uh, Nicole B. Travis, and it says, discontinuation of subcommittee meetings, and we are subcommittee meetings. As part of our ongoing efforts to streamline operation and increase efficiency within the department, we have decided to discontinue support for subcommittee meetings. This means that subcommittee work will now take place during the publicly advertised monthly Citizen Advisory Committee, CAC meetings, effective immediately. And uh, this came out on May 11th. So when somebody says effective immediately, that means right then. I would say that this is probably our last meeting uh, until such time that we're notified otherwise that this subcommittee is, according to what I just read you, is disbanded. Uh, so uh, we can make a motion to have a meeting next month and then let the staff tell us that they ain't going to do it. You know, that's one thing we could do. Say, hey, you know, we want to have a meeting again. We want to meet. So I bring you that as a committee chair, uh, throwing it out there. Uh, what do you want to do about it? Because if you notice, it says it puts at the bottom of our agenda the next CAC meeting is May 23rd. The next CAC housing workshop at Summer Garden and uh, next salary board meeting is July 20th. So there's not going to be a June, there won't be another salary board meeting for another two months because they're going to be having June the 8th or 9th at the convention over here right across the street. They're going to have a workshop which the public can go to and, and speak. So I read everything because I'm very transparent. Okay. And, and my thing is, is that they said that they don't have to, we're going to have to follow Robert's rule of order, blah, blah, blah. Well, the thing is, is this is not just the West Tampa CRA. This is every CRA, all eight, seven, whatever they are. As of May 19, all these subcommittees that we had. Now, my concern is that since, you know, I'm going to throw the race card out here, that the black 
uh, CRAs, West Tampa, East Tampa, when they showed the chart at the meeting, it showed that the total uh, meetings were 168 meetings. When they showed it to the Saturday board, they said, wow, man, that's a lot of meetings. But I know that we have meetings set up, but they get canceled, canceled, canceled. So how many of them meetings actually occurred? And what was the time frame? Was that one year, two days, or what? So I looked at that and I said, well, this is just going fast. And when the CRA board met, you got two new people up there. So if you had something in February, when you say that the CRA board in February, it's because that wasn't a full of new people up there. They didn't know nothing about that. They had no idea that in February this had occurred, unless they've been briefed or debriefed. Bobby comment, she came on later. So this is all on my document to make a comment um, during this week's city council meeting so they can understand the impact of what's going on. You don't save money in doing this. In fact, what you're doing is debilitating the ability to really make change in this neighborhood. Everybody knows this is subcommittees that do the work so that the big committee can get a response. That doesn't make organizational sense to me. Okay? It's not going to save that much money. So you know how to go. Well, let me say that I'm a solution oriented person. Uh, I